Welcome to my channel. My name is Chantal Casal and I like to make videos about love, marriage, travel, and family. And I just recently created a series on this channel. And this video is actually a part of this series. It's called PCS into Japan. My family and I are leaving to move to Japan for three years. My husband is the active duty member in my family. And we are creating this series to document that process and document our time in Japan. So I hope you guys like it. Um, but before I jump into this video, which I have promised, so it's finally, it's finally here. I have a few announcements to make. Um, if you are a subscriber to this channel and you've seen a couple of my other videos, you know that this background is pretty different. So we did move already. We have officially moved from, God, I forgot what we moved from. We have officially moved from Virginia and we are now shuffling between families in New Jersey and here in New York. So if you don't know too much about New York, it's always going, there's always some noise that you might hear, like there's a car rolling past right now. I don't know if you guys hear it. Um, there's a big tree right here and it's, it's really, feel, it feels really good out here because it's a little windy. So you might hear, you know, the noise of that. You might hear some people yelling or car horns going off, people playing loud music. So please bear with me. <laughs> um, but yes, we are currently in New York and I hadn't told you guys any dates before because my husband was on deployment. He is finally home. He got home August 19th. No, this month is August. He got home July 9th, July 18th, July 18th. Seems so far away now. Um, and we had two weeks to pack up our stuff for Japan, get our crap in order for the house and have the movers pack up our stuff and basically move out of our apartment. We got here and we got here to New York um, August 2nd. So it's we, we've really been moving. Um, so I'm really sorry that the videos have not been as often as they're supposed to be. And I actually do want to give you guys an update on that. Um, the videos are not going to be um they're going to be every other week right now um instead of weekly like it says on my channel that it's supposed to be it's going to be every other week i don't know if it's going to be on the thursday i really wanted to get this video out this past thursday but it's just been hard because we've been shuffling back and forth between the two um the two states so as of right now the dates are going to vary, like what day in the week will vary, but it will come out every other week. So every two weeks, you'll get a video from me. And if I could do more than that, I promise I will, but as of right now, I just can't commit to more than that. So please bear with me on that. In one of my previous videos, I had mentioned the no fee passport. So I just wanna give you guys an update with that. We need no fee passports. If you're going to Japan, you need a no fee passport. And I'm gonna stress this because we had to go through a lot to get this, these passports. We still don't have them in hand. We, um, we had to make an appointment out this way because we had two weeks and we had to leave. And we, found, we literally found out the week before we had to leave um, or a week and a half or something like that before we had to leave Virginia. And there were no agents in Virginia. So I will make a separate video about that. That's probably gonna be my next video about the no fee passports because a lot of families get held up because they don't think they need a no fee passport and then they find out last minute like us that you know you actually do need a no fee passport. You cannot go to the post office. So you have to go to the specific passport agent. There's like not many you have to call and call. It's a headache. And so what ends, up ha what ends up happening is that the service member has to go ahead because they have orders. They have to be, they have to check in to their command by a specific date. So they have orders. They have to go ahead and leave their family members behind for a month or however long that the that their passports are going to take to get them. You know, depending on where they're at in the process. And it's just a, a hot ass mess. I'm going to curse. I'm sorry. I usually do not curse, but. It's a hot ass mess and it's very irritating. So my next video will be about the Nofi passports. Um, like I said, we found out we had to get the Nofi passports and um, we was able to find an agent close to the, the um, New York, New Jersey area. And um, 
we made we made the appointment we went for our appointment and so that's what we're waiting for right now i will give you guys more about what happened to us um in another video in the next video and let you know everything you have to do i will put as many as much information um, into the description box so make sure you guys keep a lookout for that video so that's about it for the announcements that i have for today but without further ado let's jump into the video and i hope you guys enjoy this video please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one bye so as you can see this is my pcs binder and you can see it's pretty thick in size. I had a one inch binder in the beginning and I had to go up to a three inch binder. So do yourself a favor and just get the three inch binder and save yourself some money. So as soon as you open our binder, on the left hand side, I have my daily scheduler, which I use to start my week. I write down everything I have to do the next day and that's how i remember to get things done i also have some receipts because we started shipping things to japan through um, usps and all the way in the back i have my my daughter's school records and it couldn't fit in the rest of the binder and then on the right hand side i have a pencil case with some pencils pens and a sticky note and then once you open the inside you'll find um, some receipts that I have and also passports In this section of the binder is where I keep all of my important contact information I've had to contact a lot of people since this process has started So this makes it a lot easier for me to be able to pinpoint who I'm trying to get in contact with and either be able to send them a friendly email or give them a call if I need help with something I absolutely love these multicolored dividers. They help keep me organized. In this section of the binder, I have my husband's orders and I've always been told like five copies, 10 to five copies. I made five copies and I have each copy in its own individual protective sheet. So the next part of this binder is our medical records. The divider is marked medical and at the bottom of each of these paper protectors, I have my name or my daughter's name. So this one says Kylie and the next one is mine. My husband's medical record is way too big to fit into this folder. So it's just mine and my daughter's. But these paper protectors, I really like them because they zip to open kind of like a ziploc bag so that will protect them from getting wet or damaged so the template that i purchased from a youtube has a document checklist and this came in handy when it came to making sure we had important documents inside the folder and we was taking it with us to japan like on our person rather than leaving it behind and getting packed away this actually brings me into the next section of the binder, which is important documents. As you guys can see, I have a sticky note attached to some of the document protectors in this section. And that's because I put a bunch of important documents together. So in the case that I need to pull a particular thing, like a birth certificate, I'll know exactly which document protector it's in and I'll be able to pull it out. I also have my certificate of marriage because I do plan to frame it and I would hate for it to get lost in the chaos. While my husband was on deployment, I did get a power of attorney and this is where I kept it in the binder. In this next document protector is my husband's Fitbit, but because there's sensitive information on here, I have it covered. I do plan to work in my field of study when I'm in Japan, so I also have my degree just in case it's needed. section of the binder is dedicated to moving out so in the folder I have some copies of any important things we had to fill out when it comes to moving into housing in Japan so I have the application we had to fill out we also had to do a sex offender disclosure and acknowledgement so those are just some of the documents that I have in there 
Also in that section is the DEA, FEA paperwork that I had to fill out. And that was for moving our household goods and our storage stuff. So I use the left side just for storage. Um, but this is the instructions that I printed out from my no fee passport agent. So these are the instructions that she gave and I printed out and I will go over these in the next video. On the right side of the binder is some pages that came with the template that I purchased. And it's a move out cleaning, so it basically gives you a list of things that you need to go through, go in by section of the house, just to make sure you get everything. This next part of the template was extremely helpful in making sure I got my address changed and everything I needed to get it changed in. This section was also important. I was able to write down all of the utility companies I had and make sure I canceled them in the date that I canceled. Now this next section, I thought I would use a lot more than I did, but it's a to-do checklist. There's a two month out, a one month out, a two week out, and I think a one week out. Um, and I wish I would have used it more, but towards the end, there was a lot going on, so I wasn't able to use it the way I would have liked. And then some of the things just really didn't apply to me. Again, this is one of those sections I thought I would use. This is the home inventory section, but I really did not need to use it. And the same goes for the donation tracker. We did donate a few things, but most of the things we had, we gave away to friends and family. The expense tracker is one of those things I really, really wanted to do, but because of our situation where we're basically moving from family member to family member for about a month and a half, it's kind of hard to keep our expenses in track because of course we're not just living here free, we are cooking, we are buying things for their home, sometimes we're eating out. There are kids here, so we're treating the kids. And so it's just, it's really been hard to track our expenses. We did, we do have an expense tracker, but it's on an Excel sheet. So um, yeah, I can tell you right now, we are not within budget and we haven't been since we left. Speaking of budget, this template did come with a budget expense. So if you're really good at budgeting, you would want to print this out and put it in your binder. So if anybody watching does not know, when the storage company comes to move your things, they do an inventory. So basically the inventory is of everything that they're taking. They get a copy and you get a copy. And it's important that you keep this copy somewhere safe because when they come back, so when you get those items back, whether it's your household goods or when you come, like when we come back to the States and we'll have to pick up our stuff from storage or they'll drop off our stuff from storage, they're going to go through the checklist and we'll go through it with them so we can see if everything is there, if anything is damaged. And you'll use this um, inventory sheet to collect any claims on anything that is missing or damaged. So the inventory on this page is for the stuff coming with us to Japan. I did separate it to make it easier for me. And that is everything in my PCS binder. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it extremely helpful.